Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there, and welcome back. Feels like it's been two days today. It does. It feels like it's been forever. Yes, this was early uh, this morning. Uh, this one we're talking about, will there be a return of the benevolent ETs? And, uh, you know, will they come? When will they come? Uh, a lot of other stuff, some hidden history that was on on Patreon only. Yesterday, we were talking about this Texas fire. Um, it's gotten worse, and this is up in the panhandle. This is getting, uh, well, it's actually starting to go over into Oklahoma. Um, right now, multiple towns, including Canadian, uh, Texas, have been evacuated. Smokehouse Creek fire is now over 100,000 acres, pushed over 45 miles since yesterday. It's eating ground at an alarming rate. Uh, so the areas that we're talking about, as this has doubled in size, is Hemp Hill and Roberts, Canadian, and northeast of Amarillo, Texas, 0% contained. All roads have been blocked. Uh, <clears throat> and this says, here's what the mainstream media is saying. Pay attention. A robust cold front is forecast to slice through the area tonight and will cause the wind direction to shift which could cause uh, the fires to spread in new directions. More than 11 million people in South Central U.S. are under red flag warnings Tuesday as spring-like warmth, gusty winds, and dry air create dangerous fire weather. Texas and Oklahoma are in the epicenter of some of the most dangerous conditions. Absolutely, and we understand the technologies involved and could be technologies as simple as a match or a lighter when you get down to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, very, very basic technology. Yeah, and there's probably 10 to 20 million opportunities for that to happen with all the number of, you know, undocumented, uh, yeah, crossing over, board, you know what we're talking about. This is a view from above. So you can see this is, again, the, the Panhandle area. As you see, this is Oklahoma's, and you can see how it is spreading. Now, the wind's going to shift. Uh, and it is going to turn colder. We were 84 or 85 today, so it felt like, uh, you know, it felt summery. Uh, it was very, very nice, and, you know, it's going to change for us a little bit later. But, you know, be very, very aware of as much as you possibly can be in these times. I, I know. I mean, what do you do? You can only do so much. There's been a lot of weird things going on. A lot of weird things, and weird things locally, too. You know, we, we've noticed strange things. Lots of people um, with health uh, issues right now, massive amount of people with health issues. And speaking about massive, massive arms shipment from North Korea to Russia. North Korea has reportedly shipped 6,700 containers of weapons to Russia film filled with over 3,152,000,000 meter shells. The volume of ammunition is about 10 times more than what the entire European Union has given Ukraine so far. The deck is stacked and you know you heard Trudeau was that today's video where we or was that yesterday where we caught him saying Russia has to win this war. Yeah, I think that was yesterday's but you know that's kind of timeless. It is timeless. There's lots of things that are timeless. You know, the the outcome's already been pre-decided. I, I mean, it, it's been decided a long time ago. And so, you know, if you are able to bet and you are a gambling person, um, you might want to lay the money on the brick side of things. As I'm sure uh, all of <laughs> all the top-level politicians are doing just that. They're probably investing in uh, certain uh, armament companies that they know are going to be very very busy and they're probably divesting themselves of certain ones that they know are no longer going to be in business all this was talked about in those forecast in that forecast right here i got archived d-e-a-g-e-l you know because it does talk about um military expenditure circa 2025 so here you go. China shocks the world with their invention, the first invisibility cloak. Well, I remember looking at these about 70 years ago. Um, but, you know, hey, revisionist history, it is what it is. Everybody's shocked. Everybody's cheering. Everybody's like, wow, uh, is that great? I don't know. We, we, won't, <laughs> we won't see. 
we won't see the what's the ccp version of uh, the irs i don't know what they call them over there but you won't see them coming until they're already there i don't know the little they probably got that information from those little grays because they're pretty invisible too you're right and and the grays are re very real uh, we've had so many interactions with them we we can't count uh, as well as many others. Oh, by the way, looking at technology in China, this is Chinese gait recognition technology. Identifies people by the way they walk. Gait analysis cannot be fooled by simply limping, walking with legs apart, or hunched over because they analyze all the, uh, and the uh, characteristics of the whole body. This is part of their surveillance system. Yeah, absolutely. Skynet is in place. And, you know, we're all going to be living in China soon, just like everybody was living in America. You know, it's history repeats itself. Just the top puppets change place. You know, the color of the flag that's now leading the wor world will change place. Yellow and red McDonald's. Mm. McDonald's. Yeah. Billions and billions serve. China activates its space strategy to counter the United States. People's Liberation Army identified unidentified aerial phenomenon countermeasure system is also aimed at military restraint. Um, I, I just find it curious to see them talking about this because we were just talking about the fact that the U.S. has informed its allies that Russia is going to have the capability to deploy its new anti-satellite nuclear weapon system in space by the end of the year. Hmm. Technology, technology, technology. This also is an exclusive video shows the Chinese Coast Guard expelling a Philippine vessel for illegally intruding the waters near Wangyan Island in the southern China Sea. You know, this is getting a little bit hotter right now. Uh, China and the Philippines, as there are islands that are contested. Russia and Japan still have contested islands as well. By the way, the CIA's trained proxy force of Ukrainian nationalists began going rogue and conducting assassinations and terror attacks within mainland Russia before the war. This was just in part of that um, article from the New York Times. You know, they've laid it out so clearly. The BRICS nations are going to win the war. The U.S. and NATO are going to be blamed for everything. And, you know, one of the things that we brought up with the IRS um, video on EE Arts today, we should keep in mind, um, you know, it's, it's actually in there again. I mentioned it once before, the Geneva Convention. They could actually hold citizens that pay their taxes to corrupt regimes that end up committing crimes against humanity. They could hold the citizens accountable. I mean, what does that mean for all of us in the NATO uh, countries, really? I know. That means they got us coming and going. She's a smart one. Give this girl a gold star. Here you go. Right on the forehead, right over yeah. the third eye. Anoint that third eye, christen it with oil. Uh-oh. It's been a long day, guys. And by the way, Freedom of Information Act confirms the FBI and the DOJ uncovered a massive 2020 election fraud uh, ballot fraud thing going on in Michigan. Yeah, Governor Whitmer, you know her. Um, you know, I, I just think that she must be hanging out with Macron and Trudeau all the time. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I mean, I could certainly see Trudeau and Macron wanting to borrow some of her uh, clothing and wardrobe and trying it on. And, you know, I, I have seen some pretty intimate photos of those two. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's very weird. It's very weird. But this is the reality of the world that we're in. Another another one bites the dust. Yeah, this time a 45-year-old Thomas Kingston, son-in-law of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, has died at 45. He was found dead in Gloucester, Gloucestershire, Sheer Shosh. Uh, is that Gloucestershire, Sheer Shosh? We glow Gloucester, Gloucestershire on Sunday evening, but they don't know how he died. Hmm. hmm. Well, I'm sure it was just simply suddenly. Mm hmm. So sorry. Yeah, but you know, it's it's there's exemptions for royalty. Well, there's always exemptions for royalty. They're special, right? Yeah. They they again they they 
they tell the soldiers which way to go right. and they right. say go Here's get them guys for king and queen yeah Meanwhile, later on, after the battle, they'll be dining with their cousins who are fighting on the opposite field. Well, they're not really doing the fighting. They're just sending off the slaves to do the fighting for them. Such is the reality of this world. Over two million animals perish in Mongolia's harshest winter since 1975. Frozen in place, we've seen at times. And this is just stunning. Uh, there is something about the cold that uh, hits me as being far more fearful than the heat. That's just me. But, you know, then again, some in the system believe uh, oxygen's a bad thing. They believe, you know, methane's an evil thing. And, and greenhouse gases, well, you know, in my mind, greenhouses are places that we grow food. And... We do know that plants take in what we put off and then they give us what we need. Is that why they're always chopping down trees and rainforests? Well, you know, you would think that they would kind of figure out how things work and make it symbiotic, but they're not really from here. That's true. That's true. And I was, oh gosh, I was just having really funny thoughts of the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Like if we were casting a political Wizard of Oz, I think we'd have to put Biden, you know, in the in the place of not having a brain. Yes. Um, maybe we would put Fauci over at not having a heart. Yeah, and that's good. If I okay. only had a brain, a heart, the nerve. Now, who would be the cowardly lion? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, magma volume. And this is at Svartsengi. This is in Iceland. It's approaching eruption. Uh, threshold yet again uh, it, it, it's been active up in that area uh, north of Grindavik but then again this is Iceland and and this is also uh, a time where we will have some natural occurrences going on and then again there's always that artificial augmentation so more eruptions oncoming more than likely astronomers discover first new moon of Uranus in over two decades and also two new moons of Neptune. Now these moons, quote unquote, are so small. Um, you know, one of them's five miles in diameter. Uh, you're talking, and when you do talk about all the moons that they found, like 28 moons around Uranus. Mm. 28 moons around Uranus. That sounds like a romantic song. Yeah. No, I don't drink, guys. And I don't take any substances. It was it was just the uh, balsamic vinaigrette, I swear. And when you look at the size of some of these things and the distance, and they say about, um, you know, being able to, to really see them, it's hard to spot, you know, dust and et cetera, et cetera. They're so small. It just makes me think the obvious thing in my mind, how do we know these aren't ships? How do we know these are not like mother ships in orbit, especially when they talk about the orbits being very unusual and contrarian? <laughs> I mean, we got satellites that go in, you know, orbit around the world here. And there's some satellites that were in orbit around the Earth, like the Black Knight and the White Knight, before we were putting satellites up in this particular era. How do we know these aren't ships or somebody else's satellites? You know, I guess we just have to trust the science because they know everything. And they even write the books of education, which so many poor children got F's on during their tests when they were really probably right. You know, uh, here we are. We're almost done with February. Um, Thank you, Kristen, for informing me. We do have a 29th day in February because, uh, you know, February usually has 28 and every fourth it gets an extra. Uh, again, our, our everything is messed up in this world. We were talking about this with one of our most beloved people on the planet today. You know, you have the Gregorian calendar, you have the Julian calendar. You know, Nov, N-O-V, is, is associated with 9, uh, October, O-C-T, is associated with 8, September, S-C-B-T, is, is associated with 7. But why are they not in, that, in those positions? Well, it's because they added in two emperors. And um, that's what they did with uh, Julius and Augustus, the two Caesars, again, 
which ultimately the Roman system, the Greco-Roman system, it really is the same system that we could trace back to Babylon, Sumeria, Akkadia. It really is an Anunnakian system. This is what it is. And, you know, Cindy likes to talk about the Anunnaki in terms of them being fallen Pleiadians because, you know, fallen in that they are beings that have given into the system and now work for the system as this is what the system does. And we talked a little bit about this in the Patreon video. It shouldn't be surprising. Uh, none of this should be surprising because, you know, again, it's parasitic by nature, as we were talking about again with the IRS video. Here we are. We're, we're almost up to the eclipse. And, and who put the moon in place? It was them. Again, there are people around the world. There are tribes around the world, indigenous people that have passed on the knowledge that there was a time when the moon wasn't here. When the moon came here, it was brought here by them. It was brought here to keep the earth in a tilted orbit. And as we go from 21 and a half to 23 and a half degrees throughout our procession of the equinoxes, that's not normal. There's nothing about this world that's normal. No, uh, in fact, you know, everything about this world is absolutely back asswards and upside down, inside out. This little kitty knows we're getting close to that April 8th date. April 8th, 2024 is going to be here before you know it. And, and this little guy says, I got a good spot. Nobody will find me down here. The Anunnaki are not going to find me down here. The invading uh, Chinese and Russians won't find me down here. Let me know when it's safe to come out. Mm -hmm. This is a cute kitty. He's absolutely cute. As always, guys, looking forward to your comments. Much love. Stay prepared. Source bless. Namaste. Namaste.